Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Escape from Tarkov PvE. It was Road to Lighthouse, now it's Road to getting our ass beat. It's your boy coming forward with Fox Nest Gaming. If you watched the last episode, you'll understand. Uh, you find us in dire straits. We got mopped uh, in the last episode on every map we stepped foot on. So if it's your first time to the channel, welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. Um, boy, oh boy, we got... Uh, stuffed, for lack of a better word. We went to reserve, got destroyed. We went to interchange, got destroyed. Um, you know, actually reserved twice, and and we we got destroyed in the first ten seconds in the first raid, and then the second raid um, ended up losing due to a nade in the bunker. These nades, man, I'm telling you. I, if you looked at my kills or my deaths for the last three days. For the last three weeks, actually, guarantee ninety percent of them are grenades. Actually, insane how many nades um, they are tossing. So we've got an SVD. We're on ground zero, so we are going to be. Oh, did I? This is the high level ground zero. Yeah, we can't infill to the low level anymore. Anyway, once you get to the high level ground zero, um, you can find graphics cards. Um, I don't know if it's possible to find them in the low levels, but I've searched computers in low level ground zero, um, a lot, and I mean a lot, um, and I've never found them, and someone's outside. Um, so I don't think it's possible, but... I mean, it may just be that it's a super low spawn chance as well, so who knows? I'm trying to hit these uh, file cabinets before whoever's outside decides to come inside. Guarantee it's happening soon. So we're going to go from here, straight across, and then we're going to hit those um, those computers. We will probably have to fight 5 billion PMCs along the way. Um, may not be an exaggeration. Sometimes ground zero on PVE is absolutely ridiculous. And this has been happening lately. I don't know what the hell that is. How did he bleed us already? Like, what the fuck, man? These guys are murderous. Now that I know you can do that, I'm gonna do that shit all the time. <laughs> so... I never knew you could right click reload without interrupting your surgery. That's clutch, man. Um, so many times I've just done surgery first because I was dying or whatever. And didn't reload and then you die because you know you don't have a full clip or whatever, so that's huge. We got another one out there. coming later bro okay that problem's been solved okay problem with ground zero is you do attract all of the PMCs with pretty much every damn shot you take. So you will have uh, situations where you get pushed relentlessly and it just can be annoying sometimes. But I still love the map and I don't care, dangerous or not. I mean, we're <laughs> I don't have to worry about nothing, man. You know, 
We should just be having fun at this point. So that's what we're going to do. I will take this lighter, though. Thank you, yoink. Okay, let's push out. Carefully. Nope. I was going to check that uh, computer, but... Scav obviously saw us. I don't know where he's at, but he doesn't see us right this second. We'll hit it. Nothing there. Um, if I feel like it's tense, you know, and searching computers, if uh, I see a one slot like that, if I'm just on a GPU farm, like, nope, just keep it moving. I don't think we have a light on this gun. Well, that's a miss. Now, when the bots used to stay in one place, this map was absolutely ludicrous. Got one right side for sure. SVD is just nasty. It really is a, a sick, sick gun. Okay, we are straight. Or we could be. I don't know. For all I know, these fucking AI come up here now. They didn't used to. <laughs> but, who knows? A rechargeable battery. That's one of the things we need for green bat. When we get back, we need to hit up the high point. Hideout. Um, I haven't been using my hideout a lot because with the Lightkeeper quest line, if you go there, it'll actually get you shot from Zirachi. So um, I think it'd be a good time to actually look at some of those recipes that are available for crafting and to um, go ahead and um, set the ones up as favorites that we're going to want to craft that will make us money, like green bat, right? There's certain things rechargeable batteries and shit like that you can turn into green batteries and then the green batteries obviously you get two of those just buy a couple tetris and all of a sudden you got a bitcoin you just made a huge huge payday so um as we're raiding really want to dial into trying to make as much money as we can so things like alianka sugar um we'll probably just sell those directly but um Things that we can use to make green bats and stuff, I think we'll just go ahead and craft. Uh, the reason we'll just sell the sugar in the Alianka, like, that stuff, even as a standalone, is worth over 100k. Um, so, might as well just go ahead and liquidate it. Uh, unless we wanted to push the crafting skill, but I'm really not worried about that. That's a skill that will get leveled, you know, eventually, because I don't think we'll ever not need to craft. Um, so I'm not really too concerned about focusing it. As a result, nothing doing here. Um, nope. Okay, we'll get our SVDs filled back up. So if we don't find a GPU here, we are actually going to go... Um, from here through the building on the other side and uh, we'll go loot the, uh, the other tower um, basically we're going to go through as far as we can and upgrade our loot um, as we go and uh, when it's time to extract we'll extract but in the meantime ooh, there's some money We're just going to hunker down and make as much as we can. Always like to check back here. Sometimes you get duffels and uh, alianka sugar. Stuff like that. I did see a duffel back here as well. So we'll hit that. This thing, I just... Uh, so ready to be done with it. <laughs> Can you vault over this now? I don't think so. Hmm. Alright. I 
up in there. Don't mind if I do. Nice sugar. So we got someone walking around out there. Ooh. Someone is definitely walking around out there. I don't know who that is, but um, he is winded, wherever he is. He is really, really tired. <laughs> That's all I hear is like glass breaking and this dude like heavy breathing. <laughs> weirdo. What's a weirdo, right? We don't like Actually, we do like weird people, but not weirdos. There's a difference. You can be a weird person and still be cool. But a lot of weirdos are just, man, they're just weirdos. This dude is walking around just glass on glass on glass downstairs. You hear me? Like, we, we know exactly where he's at. Like, and it just, oof. All right, let's go get him. Shall we? They're ready. See, this is an example of one trying to be ready. The AI knows we're here. But it's trying to be sneaky. And its version of sneaky is walking on glass in the same place. Over and over again. Evidently. So, let's see if we can help it out, shall we? Alright, I feel better now. and repack and then we're going to push out. Actually, I should probably eat something too. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So, so far, we have uh, managed to affect a bit of a different outcome this time. So that's good. Yes, those are profits and uh, they are worth enough to protect, actually. All right. So let's do that, and uh, we'll head on down. Wow, that was a very loud run down an escalator, if I've ever heard one. Um, it's really best next step for us is to cross the road. Just be careful. This is uh, where most things can see you. you. Make that move. And again, there are ratty bots in every map, but Ground Zero is no exception. There's a quest for trip mines. We've got to get right outside the door to trigger it. We cannot go in. There we go. Hey. See? I didn't know these were searchable back here, actually. Cool. Was not aware. That I didn't know these were searchable. That's awesome. Yeah. Give us the juice, man. We'll take it. Oh, actually, worst comes to worst, we could extract here at Car. Um, once we're done 
being all looty and stuff. If you are over here, um, sometimes there's weapon crates back in here, so make sure you check for those. But there's a safe, in case you've never seen it right here. Sometimes it's lootable. Always check it. It's not always going to be lootable, but if it is, it's an actual safe. So you can find some good, good stuff in there. T is for trash, for sure, but it is loot, so we will grab it until we find something better. Let's head upstairs. Actually, before we do that, let's... Uh, check this guy and this safe is locked so I think we got a multi-tool maybe you can pick the lock we need to start running around with a multi-tool um, I don't know how that works um, but I know lock picking is a thing that's eventually gonna be a skill we can level and I think it's the multi-tool that we would use to actually do it so maybe something we've got to ooh make sure that we have wow yes we want that ammo okay well um sorry alianka maybe next time i don't think we have to worry about any uh ai here but just in case obviously you can take that uh <laughs> you can take that staircase a little better than we just did that's the example of how to hurt yourself while doing it. That's what you do if you're interested in hurting yourself while doing it. If you didn't want to hurt yourself while doing it, you could just vault up on the ledge, uh, which we clearly failed to do, uh, and <laughs> save yourself. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to get back to the SVD. I love this weapon, actually. Especially in PvE, like it, it hits like a freight train. And, uh, it will actually help you train your aim if you can uh, force yourself to use like an SKS or an SVDS. Um, I would recommend SVDS just because it's stronger and it will feel better when you're getting into PvP, even on PvE. Um, but using a single tap weapon like that will help your aim because you know that you won't have the ability to rely on the full auto to compensate for your miss you know um so just some food for thought there we'll take the blood set we got a weapons crate here um good place up here to peek out actually we're gonna see uh, whose day we can ruin later bro wow just got domed. All right. Um, what? Oh, you know what? I don't mind a free AK. Matter of fact, let's uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll take that. Full auto. Yep. Don't mind it. Uh, 20 PS. T. Well, PS is better than or T is better than PS, I believe. But either way. No. Five, four, five. Right. Five four five three nine. Is that not five four five three nine? Am I tripping? That's five four five three nine. So why in the world? Hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. Five four five three nine. Now, did it not just not let me put that ammo in there? Was I? Am I tripping? <laughs> I swear it just did not let me put the ammo in there. Well, whatever. We got it done. Doesn't matter. Bam. Free AK, don't mind if we do. Ooh, a paracord. Nice. That's actually decent money. Tell you, man, high level ground zero is great for loot. It's also very dangerous. Um, so maybe bring a friend, but uh, as far as loot goes, the uh, it has the same loot pool as any other high level map, and it's ground zero. So to me, it's fun as hell. I love this map. All right, let's check these computers, and then uh, depending on what we get here, we'll head over to. Uh, oh shit! Somebody sees us. How 
How am I missing this guy? Like, how how can I not see him? Oh. I mean, it's SPD. I don't even have to aim with this gun. It's so strong. Like, hit them in the chest over and over. They'll drop two or three times, and that's it. Again, it's doing this crap. Like, what is that? Anyone? Any ideas on what that could be? I wonder. Ooh, sodium. Sure. I'll we'll take the sprats. What is this? Um, nothing. All right. Okay, I think we got the majority of the goods here. Um, check this box. And we gotta check those file cabinets because they can be huge too. Bolts, don't mind if we do. And evidently we need a screwdriver. I don't know what for, but we found it. Um, can I get through here? Thanks. Can I? Yes, thank you. Jesus. It's like everywhere we walk, there's something in the way today. <laughs> you know? It's weird. So, um... Hopefully the uh, stream quality is good for you guys. I'm watching it uh, on a monitor to my left, and it uh, seems like it's, it's doing pretty well. Appreciate you guys joining me this evening. Uh, we're just in a money-making mood. Spent the last uh, better part of a day and a half hitting uh, streets really, really hard, trying to do the uh, last of the Lightkeeper missions. And really just kind of want to chill and uh, <laughs> and make some money, honestly. It's nice to be in raid and not have like a, a set goal. You know, I appreciate that freedom, honestly. Oh, he did stop. I was like, no way he's dumb enough to stop. He stopped. Well, I mean, stupid is as stupid does, isn't that what I say? Where? <laughs> oh, poor scavs. Man. Alright, let's get down there and let's get some of the actual loot. Did we loot all of these? I don't think we did. Did I? I did. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's... Why can I not walk through there? What is this? You can only crouch? Since when? Okay. Was that always a thing? Is that a recent thing? I feel like that's not always been a thing. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I know we're getting the hell out of here. Ow. <laughs> Again. Perfect example of what not to do, right? I'm good for that. Alright. Here we go. And, yeah. Alright, over here. Nope, nothing. Alright, here we go. Um, also, if you're over this way, head back through here. There's a safe back here as well. Also one over by Nagatani Extract. Um, this one's locked, but yeah. Sometimes it's not locked, sometimes you can open it, sometimes it's lootable, sometimes it's not. It's not like a normal safe though, it's like one where the door opens and you can just grab what's inside of it, so. Um, yeah, there's that. How much time do we have? Do we have time to loot this next building? We do, actually. Um, if the car is still up, I do. I think we make the most of this raid. And I think we still hit this building. Because there's still good potential for loot here. Dangerous because we could just leave right now and we're full. But it could be worth, honestly. Um, and we don't even need to get the key. Um, so There's just a ton of good loot in this area of the map. 
Where? Oh, yep. Slow down and aim, mate. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, you get caught in a firefight out here. Don't stop. Later. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get our arm put together. Real quick. And, uh, do we need to? I'm not going to use one of those. We'll be alright. We will be okay. There. Got our arm back and everything. Okay. Let's go hit this room before we run out of time. gun sounds so satisfying. Honestly, <laughs> love the way this gun sounds. Oh, what the fuck? Not used to having friends here who aren't dead bodies of not actual scabs on the floor. Um, again, what is with this crap, man? What is with this crap? What is the deal? Are you guys seeing that today too? Has anyone played Tarkov today and seen that? I've seen it the last two days. I don't know what it is. Hey, 10k from that guy. Let's go. It's all about the money. Kiss my ass, dude. Fucking. <laughs> Alright. We need to, uh... Go ahead and heal up. This is where probably a suppressor would have uh, been useful, but I actually kind of prefer not having one because I like when they push me, honestly. More XP, free gear. But. May not be the approach you want to take if you're trying to learn, but for me, I like, um, I, you know, it's just more exciting to go into a raid and actually have, you know, combat, right? <laughs> I'm not interested. I don't know how people, uh, play a game where they log in and sit around for 30 minutes waiting for one person to walk by. Like, I just, oh man, it would drive me nuts. I'm not saying that that's a bad way to play the game, but I just, uh. Not really my style, man. I would love to go into a raid and just have it be non-stop fight, you know, the entire way. I think it's kind of my preference. Let's take the CMS. Basically, we're just going to hit the uh, filing cabinets here and uh, in the room next to us, and then we will take profit. And we don't need the key, if you're wondering. Um, I'll show you in just a second how we can get into that room with that one. Hopefully we go over there and score a GPU. That would be huge, actually. But we will, uh, we will see. I hit this duffel bag, actually. Now, before you do what I'm about to do, it might be a good idea to peek um, and just eliminate any uh, aggro because we are about to put ourselves in danger. But yeah, that's how you get in here without the key. The brute force approach. Now, you still have to go back out the same way, so but you can. You just vault up on the desk right there and head it on out. Power supply and junk. Well, 
They uh, don't like us on the GPU front for this this infill, but we know we've checked damn near every computer. The only ones we didn't check were the ones down uh down by Mira. Outside of that, we didn't miss a single GPU or uh, didn't miss a single computer. Rather, we have five minutes left though, so we cannot mess around. Is uh, Emercom an active extract actually? I need to look at that. I don't know if we ever looked at what our extracts were. I don't think we did actually. What is it? Emercom is one. Okay, we could go Emercom. Or we could take the car actually. Let's and we need a minute for the car, but we'll have a minute by the time we get there, I feel like. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Don't mind if we do. We'll come back for it. Nope. All right, nothing there. What is over here? Um. Ooh. Don't mind if we do. I think that Pilau is probably the trashiest piece of loot we have, so we'll get rid of that one. And we got four more drawers. And then we're going to fight our way over to the extract, and then we'll go from there. So let's take the paper over the cord. That's one of those things. We can use papers to make filters. Filters to make moonshine. And the more I think about it, I think we probably should go back to making our moonshine. Why not? I mean, it's actually quite profitable if you're the one finding the things you use to make it. Sugar, uh, filters, super water, right? Um, basic stuff. We've got some footsteps downstairs, so we will certainly have to fight our way out. Um, but to get out, <laughs> we uh, we can't just take the, the normal approach here. <laughs> Be careful not to fucking fall off, right? <laughs> that feel like that was very loud for the glass break. I think that was uh, <laughs> maybe a little much, Tarkov. Anything here? Check for lights. Toolboxes, I mean, it seems like one of those things you should just walk past, but lamps are huge right now because no one wants to let uh, new players build their stuff for cheap. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Um, but always check toolboxes because those lamps are over 100k consistently for like the last month. It's been kind of crazy. Um, and then this guy has an AKM. Uh, probably better than one we have simply because it's got attachments. So we'll take that instead. And uh, let's. Oh shit, we got two minutes, y'all. You guys probably knew that. I'm the only one who didn't. Let's. Oh, there's another. Where'd he go? Okay, he's dead. And uh, we are going to drop the mag here. Unless we grab it. Let's grab it. Um, Honestly, I think Emercom is probably the safer push here. Well, no. If the boss was up, we would have heard him by now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck you. And we got one shooting us from outside, too. Jesus Christ. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Well... There's another still. And we have to stop this bleed. Let's get this thing going. I am going to go ahead and put one of our arms back on. Just because one, he may push. And two, it's one less thing that we could get shot off. Because we are going to have to book it to uh, to Emercom. But we can. We just we're gonna have to run, run. So that said, let's do it, right? <laughs> I 
That's the guy that was shooting at us. And we have 50 seconds. Oh, it's going to be close. Um, we can do this, though. Literally, our stem is not going to fail us. We are not going to fail us. This guy is not going to stop us. Or maybe he is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Reload. Or run. Let's just run, actually. He's probably going to bleed out anyway. Just a damn scav. But reload. I can hear him coughing, actually. 20 seconds. Oh my god, dude. This is going to be fucking close. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. You can kiss my ass. Nope. No. Uh, we're not going to make it. <laughs> we're not going to make it, man. Damn it. <laughs> Right down to the wire. We waited too long and boo, boo. Oh man, that's, that also feels bad. It was a lot of fun though, you know. And uh, sometimes that just has to be enough, right? <laughs> sometimes fun just has to be enough. We got 6,600 XP, 19 kills. Um, so we, we did at least get that part done, but, uh, boy, oh boy, to lose it right there at the end like that, that is a tough one. That is a tough one, but that is Tarkov, man. It has been, uh, that kind of journey, honestly, this evening, so... Could have got moving a lot sooner, honestly. I went way too deep on the lootiness. Totally my fault. Is what it is. Sorry. <laughs> I just can't help myself, man. I have to loot everything. Right? I have to loot everything. It's one of those things. So, um... Well, you know, when all else fails... You should just go with what you know. Right? Just go with what you know. Hmm. I have so many bastions now without the, uh... Without the armor. Really, there's no difference between these without them now. Because you can't, uh... Can't use these, uh, with the headset if you've got the ears on. The only reason that was better would have been the ears, because... The tier 6 plate for the bastions completely outclasses those, so is what it is. Actually, I know exactly what we're going to do, and it's not what we were about to do. Actually, we have a quest to kill PMCs in factory wearing a specific set of armor and using a specific weapon, and that, I think, is what we need to do, actually. So let's do that. We need to take off the Death Shadow. Because we have to use the Kyver, an M4, and this body armor. Um, now that does mean that we're not going to be able to hear shit. Um, and that's, I guess, part of the, the, the quest. But uh, let's grab one of our M4s and we'll head on in. Um, do we have one with a 60 round? Yes, we do. Okay, let's get a few more of those, actually. Um, yeah. Well, let's use the same type of 60 rounds. I know it's nitpicky, but, you know. I just would prefer that we kept it all the same. Um, let me go ahead and get a grizzly before I forget, because we all know I will. If I don't do it now. But we got some sugar and some SP6. I mean, we only used basically all of our stems. Um, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. We totally, we totally didn't just lose money. No big deal. It's totally fine. This is all fine. This is good. You know? Um, let's get another Tremendal. And then we've got to, uh, get some more ETGs. And this is, yeah, that's just how I navigate to them because it's easier for me that way. So, appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, See that we've got some folks watching. Thank you for being here. Pretty cool to have you. 
Um, we need green tip. Let's buy some green tip. Oh, I know we have some green tip, actually. Let's find our green tip and use that first, and then we'll buy more because we are fast approaching a level of inventory problem that means we're going to have to start spending even more money on uh, on some things just to hold all the stuff we got, which is a good problem to have, but still a problem nonetheless. So we do not want to exacerbate that. We're going to need to buy a lot more ammo. Whoa, that is, what the hell is going on here? Um, what the fuck? Why is green tip? What is this? Are you guys serious? Is this like, did I go high to low? I mean, what the hell is going on here? Oh, okay. I see what's happening. Packs and shit. People are, whatever. You know what? Let's just buy all of the reasonable person's ammo. Right, um, good on you for not trying to do some dipshittery on the on the flea. <laughs> Look, I know, man, it's a strategy. People are making money. I'm not hating it. It's what it is. But um, I ain't got time for that. Get on my nerves. We gotta get in the factory. <laughs> Mostly because I feel like we need to make some money. <laughs> we have been getting shit on tonight. Um, no question. And I am anxious to turn that around. So we are going to do just that. And you know the interchange thing, we will just have to grab you again at a later date, my dude. Yes, I grabbed streets. Y'all knew I would. You knew I would. All right. Magazine, magazine, that thing, this thing. Yeah, we're ready to go. So let's get in there. Sorry for the delay and the extra death and, you know, the fact that I uh, could have gotten us out safely and walked right past the extract, you know. I mean, um, it's me, right? <laughs> so this is what we do. Ooh, we need to check that one. Anytime a key sells to a vendor for that much, you should probably check it. And guarantee we already have it, so any of the health resort keys were actually clear to sell. So that is awesome. And let's just get in um, before we do anything else. Uh, we can check the task. It's, what is it? What was the name of the task? Best job, no. Now, did we finish it? Did we finish it? And I am not remembering it right. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. The good times. We did complete this. Well, shit. You know, I wanted to have some good times. Well, fuck that helmet then. Let's get our actual helmet. And you know what? We're still going to go into factory because it just sounds like a fun thing to do. So let's do it. Plus, we do have... Um, a quest there actually that involves a marker on some heat exchangers and we've got to uh, to find someone's blood sample that we need to take so let's do that and you know what let's just put that thing away because I don't know that we're ever gonna need it um, well we will need it at some point but I don't know that I want it in my sight, I am tired of looking at it <laughs> at this point. I have, uh, I have seen enough. All right, let's get loading in. And uh, so while we're here, we're going to be looking for a dead body that we can take a sample of. And I believe I saw actually in a clip I was watching earlier, um, I think it's by one of the gates, like three or four or something like that. So the only other thing we need to find would be the heat exchangers, um, which... That'll just be down to us, you know, kind of exploring around the map and figuring things out. Only risk we have here would be to Gila with green tip. Probably not um, exactly tilted in our favor, but we do have 60 round clip, so depending on where he is, we can probably, uh, probably get him down if he's active. But we shall see. Um, 
sometimes he is, sometimes he is. Alright. Well, Jesus. I think he's here. Based on what we've heard already. Honestly, think they're fighting him right now. There's one dead. So we'll play it smart. We got obviously some PMCs fighting something. Could be Tagilla. Don't know for sure yet. Fucking grenades. Every time. Every time. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Every two seconds, right? How is that guy not dead? He's dead. Oh, did we not grab grenades? Well, crap. He's dead. I hear another one very, very close. Ah, oh, Jesus. Shit. Well, let's hide <laughs> for a second. It's just we gotta get our uh, get our shit together here. Get this uh, bleed stopped. Get some of this ammo pack. Why does that sound like? That was Tagilla. Fuck. Well, he knows where we are. So he'll be along. No, 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 yes, 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 oh shit, <laughs> oh fucking Tagilla man, this dude is crazy y'all, this motherfucker is shell, you hear me, Tagilla is shell, this dude, I swear, holy, alright man, <laughs> fuck, uh, we just can't cut a break tonight man, everywhere I go, Everywhere I go, this game was trying to kill us today. Oh, hey, um, yeah, all of you in the chat there, um, thank you for being here. Um, we were just having some fun here, and uh, clearly, we got to uh, do some maintenance here. Um, we will get to looting our prize here in just a second, but holy crap! Before we do that, we need to put ourselves back together again. Alright, get the CTG going. 
And yeah. Well. Our prize. Come on. Let's get give us a card. Give us a card, man. We've had a rough day. You're just gonna give us those three big mags. Okay, cool. Whatever. You know what? I'll take the big mags, even though I can't even fit them in my rig, so okay. Um fine. Um, do you have any tier six plates for us? You do. Oh, I ate the crap out of that plate though. Whatever, we'll take it. Alright, sweet. Now that is worth, in my opinion. We're just gonna chill for a second and uh and uh reload. <laughs> Thanks. Low key together in the way. <laughs> Damn right he is. Um, sorry, I'm trying to respond to, uh, to chat, and for whatever reason, um, we can't, uh, autocorrect is, is messing me up. Um, so, anyway, Tegila's down, we got his loot, uh, we still need to find a heat exchanger and a body somewhere, but all in all, cannot be upset about what we've got so far, and yes, I collect. I can't put his cap in there. That's some bullshit. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, we can put our Saliwa here, though, and why the hell do I not have my Grizzly on my line? You know, just gotta get our lives together. That's really all we gotta do. You know? We, uh, we are struggling with that. Um, so yeah, if you're here, thank you for being here. We're actually just, uh, testing out some live streams. Um, how's the quality? How's the uh how's the stream quality? I wanna make sure uh it's looking good on y'all's end. Um it looks good on my end from what I can see, but I wanna make sure that uh it's looking good for y'all too. So we get our mag packed back up here and uh and we'll go from there. But we got Killa. He's dead right here. Actually we can repack while we're um, searching all the other 50 bodies. I forgot. We've got about <laughs> we got a lot of bodies to search. If you're just joining us, I mean, some things happened. You know, <laughs> we did the best we could with it. We came out on top. <laughs> it is what it is. We've had enough raids uh, tonight where we've not come out on top. So we were certainly due. But um, kill is always fun to fight. Dude is absolutely in fucking sane how much damage he can take. Like, I dumped... had to be 80 rounds in that asshole. I think we searched the back one. I don't think we searched the front one. So we'll just... Oh! So, sounds like we have some more, uh... More PMCs. So let's uh let's get a move on. And we'll uh two. I saw that one of the dead bodies with the blood samples was behind one of these walls. I don't think it was this one. Um we can check this guy though. Really our only goal here is just to uh to get loot, and have fun. Um while we're doing that, there's a few quests on Factory we haven't done yet. Heat Exchanger and um, Blood Sample from a Dead Body. Crumpled. <laughs> I don't know. Got him. Wasn't sure if I could make it through that uh, through that peak, but uh, hey, um, thanks for thanks thanks for uh, thanks for the response. Sorry, I didn't see it sooner. Um, good, good to know. That was the plan. 
Yeah, the we tried a few different um, things the last couple days, and I think we've got the setup now for 1440, and so we should be good. So yeah, I think um, we'll do a lot more live streaming actually while we're doing the episodes. I mean, the episodes are doing okay, but um, I think in order to get the channel off the ground as quickly as we can, I think streaming actually is probably going to be a, a decent part of it for us. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. We, uh, we're we going to be doing more of these. We are not ready to leave yet. I just wanted to open that. But um, we'll get it ready. And this is not going to be another one of those moments where I should have left. Uh, it might be. I oh, uh, it's, it's very possible that it could be. You never know, you know. Uh, oh, hello. Did you break my arm? I just put that thing back on. Man. Alright, let's get to see. <laughs> maybe we should leave. You know, may maybe maybe we should, right? Um, negative. Negative. We have nine minutes. Nine minutes to kill stuff and or find stuff. And look, we got all this space, man. We can't leave yet. We need more stuff. Um. <laughs> oh. I'm ridiculous. All right. Okay, we'll um, do that while we're doing other things. Namely, let's search this safe right here. Because this could be good. That's not good, actually. The safe was garbage. Well, hey. You know, we had to check, right? Let's head upstairs. There should be a safe in the office we can get. Now that Tegill and company are dead. No. <sighs> we have another bleed to heal. I know, I know, I know. We should. We'll, we'll get out of here after after the safe. After the safe, we'll take profits. Um, okay, decent. Not terrible. Not amazing, but not terrible. Um. Don't think we need a 220 key anytime soon. Um, probably not. Okay. You know, rather than do this, um, I think if we did anything with the last few minutes, it should be trying to figure out where the hell these heat exchangers are. Let's turn off our light. Well, that was an awkward audio transition. What the hell was that? He's trying to drop shut us. <laughs> Dude is land. What the fuck? <laughs> you dummy. Alright. So there's a lot of bodies down there that we didn't search. Probably going to be dangerous. And probably shouldn't even really be thinking about doing it. But, it's me. So, we are going to... Oh, really? I know. Probably should have started with that. Bruh. Alright. So to the left is where we killed Gila. We killed like five other PMCs over here. And we just crumpled that guy back there. So yeah. Let's uh, see what we get here. Ray. Would you bring us anything good? We got five minutes. Should be enough time. To get some value off of these guys. 
Definitely want to get the uh, the tags if we can. And I mean, we don't have a ton of loot, so we might as well. Hmm. Are those heat exchangers? I wonder. No. Okay, fine. Heat exchangers, they are not. Can we drop down here? I feel like that's going to break my legs. Can I? How about here? Can I? Sweet. I think we can go through here, right? Yep. Okay. Let's hit it. We can uh, figure it out from there, but we will take the win. What a raid. We got Tagilla. We got some stuff. We got some kills, and we actually made it out alive for a change, so there's that. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you gotta celebrate what you can in this world. So yeah, we'll see how much experience we get for the tequila kill. Um, and then we'll take it from there. So anyone on the live stream, thank you for being here. We're gonna keep the stream going. Um, for those of you watching the episode at home, this is a good place to uh, bookend it, and we'll pick it up in the next one. 12,000 XP, and what a Tagila fight. Good, good times. Anyway, thanks so much for being here, y'all. Uh, live stream again will continue, but uh, that's the end of this episode. It's your boy, Con4 with Falcon's Gaming, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.